and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from downtown Purcell. This McLean County town is known as the heart of Oklahoma. And it's also home to some great antique shops. Main Street in Purcell is a great place to grab lunch and spend the afternoon shopping among local merchants. We'll show you a few of the hot spots throughout the show. But first, after you shop till you drop, you deserve a getaway. And with some folks wanting to stay a little closer to home, there's no place like a state park. So let's check out the lodge at Sequoia State Park in Northeast Oklahoma. Visiting Sequoia State Park feels like an adventure from the very beginning. But an adventure can also be defined as simple relaxation, just like a flower in the gentle wind, swaying with the flow of the moment and enjoying one's surroundings. Sequoia State Park is a beautiful opportunity to see a different part of Oklahoma. So we have so many different eco-regions, and here in green country, you don't expect to see trees that are hundreds of feet tall. But you pull into Sequoia, and you first thing you notice is our shortleaf pine line drive. And since we're a peninsular park, you have lake on all sides. So you can see the sunrise and the sunset from the park. And it's a great birding opportunity. We have unusual birds for Oklahoma, a lot of people think. When it comes to accommodations, you have plenty of options, with the first being the largest lodge in any state park with 104 rooms. Yes, we have single um, bed hotel rooms and we have double bed hotel rooms. Our hotel rooms, um, they'll sleep two, three, or four. And then our uh, three suites we have inside the lodge, they will sleep up to four. The lodge is peaceful out um, looking over the lake um, is, is so magnificent. Um, it's quiet, uh, qu a very quiet atmosphere. Now the rooms at the lodge have all the amenities such as mini fridge and flat screen TVs. They are equipped with ironing boards and blow dryers. There's also primitive camping sites and full RV hookups. And now there's a new, very interesting site. So it's new as an accommodation, but it's very old in that it's a native stone structure and it's been converted into accommodations. It sleeps three people and it has a beautiful porch on the outside. We call it Ray Haven, an ode to the Ray community that was here prior to the park. While here, you can play a round of golf or play cornhole, volleyball, basketball, to name just a few activities. There's a beautiful marina, of course, but don't forget the riding stables and there are a number of activities at the Nature Center. The Nature Center is a wonderful opportunity for the public to come in and see exhibits, displays, and live animals of animals and plants that are native to this area. While the lake is in many ways the star of the area, a different cast of seasonal characters shine brightly on their own. But it's a beautiful time in the fall being ushered in with our bald cypress turning from yellow to orange to crimson. So the winter months are beautiful for us because the temperature is glorious. And wildlife doesn't decrease in the winter, there's just different species here. Regardless of the species here, the adventures of a different kind, along with the beauty of the area, they all await you at Sequoia State Park. It's just an, you know, a, a wonderful all-around experience to, to come and visit Sequoia Lodge. Planning your trip to an Oklahoma State Park is easy. Just head to the Tourism Department's website, travelok.com, and click where it says State Parks. You'll be reserving a campsite, lodge, room, or cabin in no time. And then it's time to shop again. Oklahoma is home to so many locally owned shops that could really use our business right now. So let's hop on Route 66 and head west. Right now, Dan Stein's gonna take us to the Bazaar in Elk City. Melody Murray opened her Bazaar on 66 back in 2017 with two goals, for her customers to have fun and to leave happy. The vibe is uh, you're welcome. Everybody's welcome. Beginning with all the curbside appeal ready to pique your interest, but just wait till you get inside. When they come through the door, we get a lot of, <gasps> because it is so different. The first display you'll see is the queen and all her friends waiting to greet you. This is Bev, this is Ebony, and this is the ticket taker girl. The bazaar on 66 in Elk City is a bit on the bizarre side, but that's exactly how Melody Murray designed it. Didn't want another boutique. We have plenty of those. Wanted something completely different. 
So she wrapped her store around Route 66 and this life-size Barbie. And of course, all the other half a dozen mannequins scattered throughout the store. We have Ellie over there. We have Heidi over there. We have Tiffany. We have Ken. We have Barbie. Curious customers will find every nook and cranny filled with Melody's flair for the extraordinary. I mean, you can't walk around this place and be in a bad mood because it's just so fun. You can find a little bit of everything throughout the wacky store, each section having its own theme, like the dog area, the love section, clothing, home decor, and the Route 66 zone with some one-of-a-kind items made just for the store. This is my love, the unicorn section. And then there's the area just for kids. I wish the whole store was filled with kids stuff. I wish it was all this fun. I, I love all the different things she has in it, her crowns and the unicorns, everything. Aside from all the zany items in the store, Melody herself is quite entertaining. But she's gutsy and um, she, puts, she puts it out there, yeah. And that's what brings everybody in. Some days we dance. Some days there's a horse in here. And if you have the time. All right, do you want Happy to go like so or like? Like that. Like that, yeah. okay. Perfect. She'll even give you a tattoo. It's what people want. You know, they want an experience. But if a tattoo isn't your thing, everyone can create a memory in her photo booth. My favorite part is the Route 66 sign is an old cat eye Route 66 sign, so we kick the flash on and it illuminates it and it makes just an amazing picture for them to take home and keep. The bazaar is open all year long, but the busiest times are from April to September when travelers make the trek down the Mother Road. I never realized how big Route 66 was until we moved here. This is our guest book. These are all people that have checked in and they come from all over the world to spend a little time with Melody and her little shop of fun. Discovering Oklahoma in Elk City, I'm Deanne Stein. The Bazaar on 66 is open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5.30. They lock up at 4.30 on Saturdays and are closed Sunday and Monday. You'll find them at 1102 West 3rd Street in Elk City. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Feels great. It makes me happy and makes me just get along with everybody. The heartwarming story behind this Oklahoma-owned garden shop and why you will want to stop and shop here. It's beautiful. I mean, the smells are aromatic. It's just very pretty and very um, just beautiful weather. And Plus, pick your own produce, the Oklahoma farm that makes it easy. We have your basic vanilla chocolate. We have a peanut butter chocolate that is delicious, um, a mint, and then we do some fruity flavors and summer's sweet and frozen treats from a mom and pop ice cream shop where to grab your next scoop when Discover Oklahoma continues. Start your next journey with a travel okay trip planner. First, choose an itinerary or build your own. Share travel plans with friends and let the adventure begin. The Travel Okay Trip Planner. Download the app today. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from downtown Purcell, home to some great antique stores, family-owned shops, and a few great diners, too. This time of year, so many Oklahomans are spending time in their yards. And if you're looking to spruce up the yard, how about buying a plant with a purpose? Julie Chan explains. You want to put it in the park for me? Sure. Thank you. At a new leaf, you'll find annuals and perennials, hanging baskets and succulents. But this garden center grows more than plants. This is a place where people bloom. Feels great. It makes me happy and makes me just get along with everybody because I love everybody working here. Ashley is one of more than 350 individuals served by a new leaf. The long-standing local nonprofit teaches life skills and job training to adults with disabilities. Got it. So a New Leaf is an agency that supports people with disabilities so that they can work independently, live independently. It's all about independence. Garden centers like this one are the root of a New Leaf's programs. Kim's been working here for two years. It's actually changed dramatically. Like I had no self-confidence. Confidence, now I have a lot of self-confidence 
and working with people and having respect for myself that I didn't have then. The first time I like when I got my first paycheck, I was so excited because I just like, I just get to, you know, have fun and help out. Most of the plants sold here are locally grown in Anu Leaf's nearby greenhouses. They grow the flowers and if we bring flowers in, they maintain the flowers and they'll also help you take your uh, flowers or your purchases to your car and uh, it's just a great opportunity for them to earn a living and, and for you to purchase flowers from a nonprofit in town that has everything you need. Yeah, they're very healthy plants and they've taken really good care of them. They're out here every day, you know, checking the water and making sure that they're not overwatered or underwatered and that they're healthy and they pick off the leaves that are brown. I've always had great luck with plants from a new leaf. A new leaf also offers private plant and flower arranging parties. Customers can book the party here at the greenhouse or wherever they like and a design expert will come and help you make a beautiful arrangement. In addition to fresh plants, a new leaf also grows fresh vegetables at Blooming Acres, its community supported garden. We grow about three acres worth of produce, and if you want to buy a share, you just call us up and you sign up for a share, like a family of four or a petite share. It's only my husband and I, so I'd probably ask for a petite share. And then every week, our clients will deliver a bag of fresh vegetables to your house. You can also buy gifts here and shop for seasonal selections like Valentine's roses, Easter lilies, and poinsettias. Anytime you think about a garden or plants or flowers, think about us and we'll work with you and our clients will work with you to, to you know, fill, fulfill whatever you need you need. A New Leaf Garden Center, where you can purchase plants with purpose. It's great. I mean, I enjoy uh, being able to shop locally and I enjoy being able to shop where I know that it's, my money's going a little bit further even to, to benefit uh, others and good groups like a New Leaf. I would like to thank everybody that's came out and supported us. And what would you say to the folks who haven't been out here yet? Come on out here. <laughs> In Broken Arrow, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. A New Leaf delivers across the Tulsa metro area. Head up their website, anewleaf.org, to order online or visit them at 2405 South Elm Street in Broken Arrow. Not too far from there, you'll find an Oklahoma-owned farm where you can pick your own produce. And what you can't pick yourself, you can probably just buy it right there on the spot. Let's check out Joe's Farm in Bixby. Can I put it in mine? Yeah. Having received over eight inches of rain within 30 days did not keep people from coming out to Joe's Farm on this particular Saturday to pick and to buy some fresh organic produce. At this time, people can pick strawberries right now um, and then we have a full spring crop available through the produce stand so we have lettuces beets carrots turnips uh, kohlrabi fennel dandelion um, and then pretty soon we're going to have cauliflower cabbage broccoli and some other crops and, and onions will be coming on in june and we'll have leeks soon and then we'll have a full array of summer crops even with the heavy rain of late, this family decided to come out and pick strawberries. It was their first time here. It's beautiful. I mean, the smells are aromatic. It's just very pretty and very um, just beautiful weather. And even though it's wet, it's still just fun to come out and put on your rubber boots and the kids can jump in the puddles. And it's just, it's amazing. So I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's surprising that it's a nice little pocket in our Oklahoma, you know, landscape. It's, I just love it. And you could tell her little boy really loved it too. It was so cute to see him out there just with his little bucket and galoshes, you know, and um, every once in a while he'd pop something in his mouth and we'd have to say, no, don't do that, you know, and so, but the little ring of strawberries is so cute. <laughs> so we're, uh, it was, it was a wonderful family moment, really. Owner Joe Tierney has been at this location growing organic produce for 28 years. He says every day is amazing and every day is a blast. There's nothing really better than planting something and seeing it grow. And my personal favorite out of the whole process is really the harvest. I really enjoy harvesting and, you know, working with the plants, manicuring the plants, because a lot of the things we can we can harvest and then go back and harvest again. 
and buying locally is always very important. If you're buying local, obviously you're supporting your local community, but you're also your nutritional levels are going to be so much higher. Most of the product that we get in the grocery stores here is either going to be coming from California, Mexico, Arizona. Um, those are the big three growing areas. So a lot of the things coming out of California, by the time a person buys it at the grocery store, it, it probably has anywhere between seven and 12 days on it and every day it's losing nutritional value. <laughs> Everyone was laughing and enjoying their time at Joe's Farm today, and it is like this quite often. Now, there were several for whom this was their first visit. This is awesome. I will be back. Yes, I mean, it's a pretty good drive for us. We're on the other side of Tulsa, but hey, it's worth it. This is fun. It's just fun. I got some, uh tomato plants and some pepper plants and some herbs. And found out a lot about herbs that I've never known before. And Joe is passionate about what he does. They go through extra steps even organic growers in California won't do since it's too competitive of a market. This is some of the best soil in, in the world actually. And uh, it's all getting eaten, eaten up by development, but we're, we're, we're gonna stay here and we've really taken great care. Of, of the soil. We're trying to be good stewards is what we're trying to do. And if you haven't been here, you need to put it on your bucket list. This one is good. Okay. Joe's Farm is at 12811 South Sheridan Road in Bixby. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., closed on Sunday. Learn more at their website, joesfarmok.com. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. So we do make our own ice cream in-house. The ice cream shop where they make it from scratch will take you there. Food's just like it says on the sign. It's, you know, it's home-style home cooking, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just delicious, man. And you can't find comfort food like this just anywhere. Your next lunch stop that's worth the drive coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Gather around and go for a ride through Oklahoma's all-new travel guide. See art, culture, big city venues, blazing neon, flavorful menus. Find a cabin where you can unwind. Grab your travel guide and see what you find. Welcome back to downtown Purcell, where you can grab a great cup of coffee and spend hours shopping. So many Oklahoma communities can really use our support right now as we all recover from the COVID shutdown. And that can come in many forms, shopping, eating, or taking a road trip. Or how about all three? Now let's head to Medicine Park and grab a little ice cream at Cobblestone Creamery. What's better on a hot Oklahoma day than an ice cream cone? If it's homemade, handcrafted ice cream, even better. And that's exactly what you'll get at Cobblestone Creamery in Medicine Park. We opened right about a year ago, so March of last year was, this has been our first full year. There was an original ice cream store here owned by Lee and Connie Green, and due to unforeseen circumstances, they had to shut it down. Um, but they did fantastic business here, and um, they're both wonderful people, and so they agreed to come on and, and help us get started, and Lee is now our mixer. There are at least 10 different flavors in the case every day, and where do the flavors come from, you ask? My wife and I had a little store, and we had a, a self-serve machine that couldn't keep up with the demand, and people said, you should start making your own. And we were offered a used ice cream freezer, electric free, commercial freezer. So we purchased that, and uh, with it came the recipe, and I kind of modified the recipe after I Make, made one or two to my taste or to my satisfaction and uh, it started off from there. So we have your basic vanilla chocolate, we have a peanut butter chocolate that is delicious, um, a mint, and then we do some fruity flavors. Cheesecake is definitely our best seller. I love it, I eat it a lot. When you come in the ice cream shop, pick your flavor and then the fun begins. So it's kind of a build your own scenario. So we do make our own ice cream in house. Um, you would pick your ice cream flavor initially, decide what size you want, whether you want um, waffle cone or homemade waffle bowl. 
and then you would add your mix-ins and toppings and out the door. Easily 15, 15 to 18 different mix-ins you can at any time. Um, we have fruits, fr we have fresh fruit, we have nuts, we have candy, sprinkles, some cereal, potato chips. Eat it in a cone, cup, or any way you like it. Trust me, you'll be happy you made a stop at Cobblestone Creamery. Cobblestone Creamery is in Medicine Park at 139 Upper East Lake Drive. They're open noon to 6 p.m. Friday through Monday and closed Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Find them on Facebook or visit their website, cobblestonecreamery.com. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. We get them two, three, four times a week, you know, but you spoil them. People forgot how to spoil people, you know, and that's what we like doing. We like cooking and we like spoiling people. Great food, great people, the winning combination that keeps folks coming back to this Tulsa institution. It's next, right here on Discover Oklahoma. Explore new horizons in your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Get the excitement rolling. Reawaken your sense of adventure. Discover totally unexpected thrills. Order your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide today at TravelOK.com. We've had such a great time today just wandering around downtown Purcell. There are so many neat shops to explore. And great places to eat, too. But if you find yourself in the Tulsa area, we have a great comfort food hotspot for you. Jason Grubbs right now is going to take us to Ike's. The regulars at Ike's Famous Plate Lunches are regulars for a reason. Food's just like it says on the sign. It's, you know, it's home-style home cooking, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's delicious, man. And if you like the home southern cooking, this is the place to come. Ike's is open weekdays and can fill up fast come lunchtime. And the service is just as quick. Your order is sometimes ready before you've picked out a table. We get them two, three, four times a week, you know, but you spoil them. People forgot how to spoil people, you know, and that's what we like doing. We like cooking and we like spoiling people. Owner Dwight Beard, known to his family as Ike, has been in the restaurant business for 30 years. He started out working for his mom. In fact, a lot of Ike's recipes are from her. Then I put my little touch on it. I've had the chicken and slicks. I've had their uh, roast beef sandwich, and the, the three-way is uh, really good as well. I really like the meatloaf. Uh, the ribs are great. And the chicken and slicks, the chicken and dumplings. Man, I love that stuff. It's really good. On a cold day especially, it's really, really good. I guess one of the favorites probably is the chicken and slicks, which is a homemade dumpling, and I roll them out every morning. Those are all you can eat when you dine in. And on a cold day, if you order some, I put extra in on to-go's. The chicken slicks, along with everything else, is made from scratch. Ike stays late and is up early. Well, yeah, and then I'll get in at 6 or 7 in the morning. But, you know, the gravy we make every day with the roux, I mean, you know, real mashed potatoes. There's a special chili with a kick that's made up every morning too. Great on a three-way or coney. I make my chili in small batches. You know, instead, you know, people do big, big batches. I do small batches and I do it every day. Ike seems like a place that's been around for decades, but they've only been open since November of 2019. Environment's wonderful. I mean, it's really chill. You know, atmosphere is really, really nice. It's kind of old and rustic, and I like that. I want them to have a good atmosphere, great food, and. Enjoy the food, enjoy the company. Aside from the menu, you'll find daily specials. Every day, and most of the time we have two specials. Two of them always sell out, the fettuccine and the meatloaf. The fettuccine is once a week and the meatloaf twice a week. Be sure to save room for the homemade banana pudding or no-baked cheesecake, or get it to go. It's a great menu, and everything I've had so far has been great. It's really good. I mean, I don't think I've eaten anything here that I didn't like. At Ike's Famous Plate Lunches in downtown Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Ike's Famous Plate Lunches is open weekdays only, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're closed on weekends. You'll find them at 3 East 5th Street in Tulsa. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to all of the merchants here on Main Street and Purcell for hosting us this week. And we hope that you will get out this summer and support Oklahoma-owned businesses. On Main Street and Purcell, you'll find three antique shops and locally owned boutiques where you can browse for hours. Grab lunch or a cup of coffee here too. It's a road trip you won't forget.
Coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're going to explore the craft beer scene in Oklahoma with a trip to the old ice house in Durant. And a family favorite regains its place this summer. We're going to the drive-in. It's all coming up next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.